Taurus feel about Aries? Okay. Oh, uh. I'll take this as a maybe card. Okay, and what's going on? What's going on, please? Between Taurus and Aries, what's going on? Okay, bottom of the deck. Wow. Um, I'm seeing um, a leap of faith. I'm seeing them wanting to jump in, um, maybe take a risk with you. Um, uh, just look at the card that we have. We have card zero, which is the fool. It's a card of Aquarius. <clears throat> I know there are some readers that think it's Aries. I'm, I, I am respectfully disagree, and I won't get caught up talking about it here. But I see Taurus wanting to take some kind of a leap with you. Um, anyway, let's just look at the, um, the feelings here. Okay. <laughs> Um, I think they are taking, they are really fascinated by you. Okay, I'm looking at the page of voices, but I'm not seeing it as a <clears throat> possessive um, <clears throat> watching. I'm seeing it as fascination. So they want to transform something. Um, this makes sense then, why the fool is there, because it, obviously something has to change dramatically for you guys um, to take that leap. Whoa, Ace of Emotions. So Taurus has not told you the extent of their feelings. They, uh, they have a lot of feelings for you. Whoa, the chariot. So they want Taurus wants to move things along. <clears throat> they may want to stay in control, and they may, <clears throat> excuse me, they may be um, re reigning in their emotions. Okay, not to because remember the chest plate on the man in the chariot. Wow. So we've got the magician um, as feelings. Um, what is this? I feel like they think you can just whip something out of the air. I, I feel like this is how they see your abilities. Just look at look at the person in that card. That's you, I think, Aries. So I think I think they think that you're a master manifester, or that you can you're a jack, a Jane of all trades. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, Aries, the sun. Okay, um, now we're gonna check out the maybe card. The lovers. Wow. Do you remember I called that the maybe card? So maybe um, they don't, you know, I mean, obviously it's there. <laughs> so they either don't recognize, I think, um, you know, you saw that card. I'm going to, normally I delete the shuffling. I'm going to include the shuffling uh, when I post this so you can see the maybe card coming out. Um, I just think that, uh, that that's there for a reason. I think either they love you and they just don't realize it, <clears throat> or this is, um, I, I see it as a, as a significant um, sign that this is a, a divine connection. Okay, I can't believe I just said that. I don't normally talk about it. Okay, so now we're going to find out what's going on. Um, so I feel like... Um, you're not together right now because there's six of cups energy, six of emotions there. Um, obviously, um, you know, this is uh, Sun and Scorpio. This is the song that I just talked about, soulmate. Um, I think, yes, you're soulmates because we now have the six major arcana card out and we have the six, uh, the um, minor arcana card of soulmates, which is the six of cups, okay? Um, but I feel like, just look at the angsty, wistful look on this person's face. So I feel like you're not together right now and they want to come back together with you. But this is unbelievable. Whoever, whatever Aries is listening to this involved with the Taurus, if this is resonating, this, this is what's going on. What's going on is that you are soulmates. Um, I believe that um, this situation may require some healing or there is a, oh my, I cannot believe the powerful energy coming off this. Aries, I now have the Major Arcana card, the, the star, followed by the Tower, followed by the Two of Cups, followed by the King of Cups. Um, I just want to stop right here um, and sum up Aries and Taurus. This is incredible, okay? Um, this union, okay? Um, first of all, uh, the feelings are... 
the sun, it's healing energy. They, they respect you. They look at you like, um, like you can pretty much do anything. Um, they, they want transformation. Um, we have to figure out why. Okay, I'm going to figure, I'm going to suss that out in a moment. They, they love you. Okay. You are, you are, you guys are the right spiritual choice. They want to take a leap of faith. What's going on is that this is a soulmate, um, union. Somebody, I feel like somebody thinks that the other person is just too far away or it's, it's a, too much of a long shot. Um, the tower is there. Oh boy. Just a moment. Aries. Okay. So Aries, if you've had a Taurus that's passed away, this is exactly what we could be dealing with here. Um, because we've got the death card. Uh, we have um, the magician. We have the lovers. We have card zero. We have the six of cups, which is looking into the past. We have the star, which is the star of resurrection. You know, the star of Bethlehem. We have the tower. Um, this, so this may have to do with someone who's passed away. If it doesn't, it's an it's an incredibly good union. If it was someone that passed away, it's, it was an incredibly good union. I'm going to just take a small break and clarify. I'm so sorry if this is the case, but this person loved you very much. Okay, so before I clarify, I know that some of you are thinking um, that with the tower is Aries card. It is. It is. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at the death card over there amongst cards that have nothing to do with that energy. Um, and there's no Scorpio in sight. There's no cheating. Um, and I'm seeing the star, um, you know, which has to do with, um, you know, replenishing spirit, which is very, all very astral. The two of emotions um, and the wistful look. I, so um, I'm wondering now if we can clarify if this, what is this about? Is this about a... Um, a Taurus who is still with us in the land of the living. Um, who, what union was this reading for? For, what, what, I'm sorry, grammar is so bad. Can we have some clarification, please, on what's going on here? Okay, I believe this person is in the land of the living. So they just want, they want to work on this relationship, okay? So uh, Sun and Virgo is here. Um, what is this transformation? That need, perhaps that's the transformation. What is the transformation um, that, that, need, that is required here? King of Wands, okay. So I do believe that the male energy needs to get up and start putting the work in on the relationship. Somebody needs the get up and it, somebody needs some get up and go. Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys may not be. Um, it, yeah, I don't think that you are to get, like, I don't think you're physically in the same spot right now because one of you wants to, there's a desire to move toward the other and the chariot was there, which is often uh, transportation. And um, one of you is being very stubborn about this and taking a stance. Um, there's, I mean, then, then there's the night of inspiration. Look, uh, Taurus loves Aries. Put it that way. Um, if you're physically apart, they want you guys to come together. Okay, bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. So, um, Gemini... Um, now, this could be you, because I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck. There's a, a whole lot of spark there. I'm um, seeing the page of inspiration. Um, so, um, I think one of you may be younger, uh, maybe possibly significantly younger than the other, um, or more, or just inexperienced in some way, but, you're, but that person is up for the challenge, okay? And they're very excited. Wow. So, Gemini is feeling the Knight of Cups toward you. Um, so this is a scorpionic energy, but it's, it's really good. So their timing, and this is very much like Gemini, their timing is on the, what they're, what they're going to say is going to be on, uh, and they feel, they have romantic feelings for you. 
They are, however, doing a little bit of ex cogitating over this. Um, so you guys may not, they may have, I don't think they've expressed this or you're not in contact right now. Let me just look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of unexpressed emotion from, wow, we just got the lovers again. Aries, is everyone in love with you? <laughs> I think so. Uh, that's incredible. And death again. And now you saw how thoroughly, well, maybe you didn't, but I shuffled this, these cards thoroughly. Um, wow. So, um, I feel like, uh, you have changed them in some way. I feel like they, now the lovers is a card of Gemini. Uh, it's their major arcana card. Um, but death is neither yours nor theirs. Um, I feel like you have transformed the way that they love. <laughs> Um, you've transformed them. They love you and you've transformed them. What is going on? Well, look at this, the emperor. Here we go. There you are. And the tower again. Now this is one of your major arcana cards. Um, Aries, you're killing it right across the board. So Aries, as feelings for you, they could feel like you're rejecting everything that they say or that, um, they may feel that you're being paranoid, okay, um, and overreacting to things. I think that's what it is. Um, I think they feel a little bit isolated right now. They, I think you've kind of gone off on your own. Um, they want to marry you. Parapent, all right. They miss you. You've rejected them, Aries. They're, they're feeling rejection. And... I believe that you have cut them off. Um, the Queen of Voices is there, okay? Um, now, these are their feelings for you. Uh, I just, uh, let's look at what's going on and we'll figure out. This could be the breakdown of a marriage over there. I'm not certain. Um, what's going, oh yeah, okay. So there was a truth. There was a very sharp truth that came in. Oh boy. Somebody wants to get out of a marriage, okay? Yeah, and a Leo may be involved. There may be a Leo as an outside um, third party. Although I didn't see any third party energy. But this, this could just be um, um, withholding emotion of wanting to get out of the marriage. So what I'm thinking is happening, Aries, if you're involved with a, a cancer is that they feel like rejecting everything that you say possibly uh, they're trying to control you they're, they may be trying to keep the marriage intact okay um, you've I you have left them I think you have kind of left them alone um, and what's going on is that somebody I can't figure out if it's you or if it's or if it's cancer is feeling trapped in a marriage, okay? A, a, a very, very harsh truth came in. I'm sorry about that, Aries. I'm really sorry, okay? Um, Aries, what I'm going to do, uh, for, I'm, I'm not going to leave that reading yet with you and Cancer. Before I move on, because I feel like there's some tidbit of information about their feelings for you that you don't have yet, we're going to get it, okay? So for that situation that we were just looking at, um... What are the feelings that Aries needs to know about that they don't know about from Cancer's point of view? Accuracy, please. How does Cancer feel about that particular Aries? This is very confusing. Um, so we're looking, I feel like they're trying to understand you. Um, we're looking at the hanged man. There's Pisces energy there, but this is where... Um, they're trying, oh no, I think they're trying to be at peace with the situation. I think that they're the ones that are hurting. Um, well, I know this sounds like a um, difficult situation for both of you. Um, they're, I feel like they're just in limbo right now. They can't move. How else is that uh, cancer feeling in that situation toward Aries? Yeah, okay, now I got what you need to know. Cancer actually wants to put this back together. So I think it's you that left the union. They are feeling um, a son in Virgo. So they want to work hard on the relationship. Okay. 
I don't think that you're letting them. I think that you've cut them off completely because they're hanging there like Odin from the Tree of Life, desperately trying to be at peace with this. But what you need to know is that they want to put it back together and they're willing to do anything. They're willing to do anything, you know, grow extra arms. They're willing to do anything to put this back together. They're also thinking about you repeatedly. Okay, so that was for Cancer's feelings for Aries, and it looks like that union has gone awry for now. Okay, so I'm looking at um, I'm looking at some something very painful. Um, uh, it was uh, it, something that really almost killed you uh, in terms of a betrayal or something to some toxic behavior. Um, this uh, or or almost killed Leo or Aries. So what are Leo's feelings for Aries? Yeah, okay, so they're feel right now they're feeling restricted. They want to uh they want to win. They just they've got conquest energy here. Yeah. Just look at this. I mean there's the chariot, there's that fast energy, and now there's some violent energy coming in here. Um the knight of voices. I think they're angry. And they feel trapped. Leo is angry and they feel trapped. Yeah, and they want to walk away. Um, the aid of emotions is there, or no, these are their feelings for you. No, I believe that you might be walking away. They're angry because you're walking away. I think because they cheated. Leo is angry because Aries walked away. Look at you walking away. Do, do, do. <laughs> you walked away, and I'll tell you why you walked away. Because of what was on the bottom of the deck. The reason why you walked away, Aries, I believe, is because of what was on the bottom of the deck. Because you were stabbed in the back, not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but ten times by Leo. Okay? That's, that's overkill. Okay? So for them um, to be feeling like they're trapped, that they're, there's nothing they can do, they're darn right there's nothing they can do. They're, they want, you know, they're angry, they want movement. Um, here they are in the Knight of Swords coming in angry, telling you with the Knight of Emotions how much they love you. You know, don't leave. There's the Eight of Cups. It's, this is a, um, I mean, I'm going to pick up those what's going on cards, but I would imagine. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, so you're already on to an Earth sign. Look at this. King of Pentacles. So this Aries has left this Leo for an Earth sign. And what's going on is he's chasing you. Look at, look at Speckled Horse Leo, the Knight of Inspiration, chasing you as you're going off and getting your stability. I love that Speckled Horse, by the way. There's nothing better than a Speckled Horse. So I think that's what's happening here. Um, you had good reason to leave. Uh, they have no reason to be angry. I hope you, um, uh, I think it's, I always recommend picking Earth Signs. And um, he's just going to chase you. Leo is going to chase you, and they're going to be angry for a while. Aries. Oh, wow. So they're, um, they're, they're very romantic feelings. Um, and not only that, but they want to express them. There's a desire to express these feelings. They're very attracted to you. <laughs> There's something quite phallic coming up there. Um, they feel like you snuck away, though. They feel like you've been sneaky. Okay, you may have snuck away, or maybe they snuck, or maybe they stepped out on you, and they're feeling very guilty about it. Feeling very guilty about it. Um, they want a victory with you. Okay, they want the six of wands with you. Um, so yeah, so what's going on right now? Okay, so damn it. Let's get another card. Um, can we clarify the seven of voices, please? You know what that is, though. Can we clarify this? That's right there. Damn it. Four voices. Yeah, so this makes sense. This is Jupiter in Libra. So you guys are not talking because there was some trickery. Okay? Now, their feelings. Yeah, they're alone. They're feeling very alone. Um, they're feeling um, very burdened. Ten of Inspiration, that's the Ten of Wands. And the, and I believe that they're staying up all night looking at stuff on the internet, like just stalking you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, there's someone rubbing their eyes from staring at the internet screen. 
I'm old and listening to the internet. Um, I'm sorry that this looks, I'm just going to see if there's any chance for improvement here. What is Libra going to do next? I feel like you've put the kibosh on this though. Um, I can, like, I can feel the vapor trail of Aries right now. You're, you're gone. You're not even here. Um, what are they going to do next, if it matters? This is an important message for you. Oh, wow. The emperor, they're calling out to you. So they're finally going to do all the things that you told them to do. They're finally going to do all the things you told them to do. It may not matter to you. I can, I can hear you right now tutting at it. Um, sorry about this, Aries. What a mess they made of this. What a mess. Libra. <laughs> all right. I feel like that was male Libra, female Aries, for sure. Uh, and that was female emperor there. Wasn't that cool? Okay, so... Um, all right, so when, okay, so um, I feel like there has been a loss of hope, uh, nobody has a plan, you both might be suffering right now, um, feeling isolated, um, it's a lack of money, um, but you love each other, yeah, Scorpio loves you, Scorpio loves you. They respect you. They look at you like um, you're the it person. Uh, they haven't told you. So there's something that Scorpio is holding in. Um, I see the high priestess there, the muse of, oh. Okay, no, this is good. But there's the, the high priestess and the two voices. Um, I need to clarify that, okay? Um, so what I feel like this is, um, is something... So this is how they feel. So there's feelings that they haven't expressed. Oh, no, I don't need to clarify this. These feelings haven't been expressed because you're both um, shutting yourselves off from each other, okay? Um, one of you, I think, is just recently single. But what's crazy is um, this is a very, very as uh, spiritually... Um, it has the seal of the universe, you know, this, this union. Okay, um, let's just see what's going on with these cards. Um, yeah, the magician and the ace of materials. Aries, this is going to work, okay? I don't think you know this because they have not, they're pulling a high priestess and a two of voices about their feelings. But what, what you don't know is that they absolutely are in love with you, like real spiritual true love. They're holding it in. Um, they, they, they look at you like the nine of pentacles of the, um, that is uh, Venus and Virgo, but it's the, it's the it person, you know, um, they look up to you. Um, they are going to manifest a beginning, a solid beginning. Scorpio is going to manifest a solid beginning with you, Aries. All right. Bottom of the deck. Okay. So you guys may not be in communication. I feel like you are both, um, very much. Thinking about each other, though, in a fond way, okay? Um, possibly in the nighttime before you go to sleep. You may be dreaming about them, meditating on them. Uh, but you're smiling and they're smiling as well, okay? Um, oh, they want... Okay, so Sagittarius wants... There's the Three of Wands, um, that Sun and Aries. They want to bring this... They want to... to um, uh, bring the relationship together to another. They are blown away by you. I think you gave them a tower moment. They're feeling the tower. This is your card. Yep, you know what they're blown away by? Emotion that they're suddenly feeling. Look at your card. The tower next to the Ace of Emotions. It's Ace of Cups. Oh, and there's the card of Sagittarius. Hasn't come out all night, except uh, now when we're doing Sag. So I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at four cards. This is definitely accurate, okay, because it makes perfect sense. Sagittarius has had a tower moment over Aries. Um, they want to put things together. I feel like they started like a, a they started everything going downhill by, I, I'm seeing dominoes by hitting, doing one thing, it just had a domino effect. Boom, everything's ruined. Um, but the amount of bottled up emotion that they have for you, they, they didn't express, it's unbelievable. They're dreaming. Aries, I mean, you just wouldn't believe it. Um, you know, this, 
this Sag, their feelings for you, it's so overpowering. It's unbelievable. So for what's going on, three major arcana cards came up. Listen to this. The chariot. Of course, this is their energy wanting uh, to force things, to, you know, to, to come, wanting victory, no matter what, wanting control and victory. Um, the magician, again, them wanting um, to be able to manipulate this and, and have it their way. And card number 20. So we all know what that is. You know, so what they're trying to do here is put this back together. They're desperately trying to put this back together. Um, I don't know. Um, I, again, I'm feeling Aries Vapor Trail. I feel like you're, you're, you're gone. Uh, you were here, but you're gone. Um, because they did this thing, this one thing. Um, it's like I'm seeing flicking a domino, which just everything just fell apart. And it was a stupid thing that they did. Um, I think, anyway, hopefully I'm right about this story. <laughs> Sorry, Sag. <laughs> anyway, I feel like this is a female Aries and a male Sag. I'm just getting male energy from that chariot, you know, and um, the uh, force of wanting to force things back together with the magician um, or manipulate things. Um, okay, Aries, on to the next one. Um, Aries Capricorn feels like they were tricked. This is uh, very unusual. They're feeling um, the Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords, so they, um, and the Three of Voices. So something sharp may have happened. Um, Aries may have gone off on Capricorn. You know, I think I was reading for an Aries online last night who did that to a Cappy, I think. Yes, I, I was. Maybe I'll be talking to you tonight. Maybe you're watching this. Um, wow, this is definitely your person. Um, I'm trying to remember your name. Um, maybe I'll see you online tonight. Um, so I feel like your Cappy had a bit of a rude awakening. You, you might have said something that was necessary, okay? Um, so what's going on is, yeah, is that Capricorn is feeling very guilty, very guarded. Um, they're, they're angry and guarded. Good grief. However, can't remember your name, but I know I know um, uh, uh, this. It, this was definitely your situation, okay? Um, so your Capricorn feels um, very very solid with you. They want commitment. That's your Capricorn, okay? Um, so if this is resonating, if you're in Aries that freaked out at your Capricorn um, recently, this is probably your read. So they got a rude awakening. They're feeling heartbroken. Um, it was sharp. They're feeling, uh, they're feeling like they got tricked. They're feeling like you won. That's what they feel. Okay. But they still want to give you a solid offer. The Knight of Materials is there, which is the Knight of Pence and the Ten of Pence is at the bottom of the deck. What's going on is now they're guarded. Uh, they're angry. You're, you're both, eat. you both have your swords up and you may not be talking to each other. And the Five of Cups is there, which means that one person misses the other, and I think the other person feels very guilty. Aries, I'm really sorry about this, but let me just check in on future energy, okay? What is possible between Aries and Capricorn? Because, um, yeah, so I have, actually, I'll tell you what's going on right now. Um, I think your Capricorn does have a lot of, um, uh, is very... Um, Inspired and attracted to you, Aries. Um, but for some reason, they haven't done anything. Okay? Um, yeah. But what's possible? I, can't, I, I, think, I think your name was Forever Love. I can't remember. It was something like that. It's the Four of Wands between uh, Capricorn and Aries. If this resonated with you. And healing. The star was underneath it. What's going on between Aquarius and Aries, please? I'm just going to leave it at that. Bottom of the deck is, yeah, so there's some kind of a hold up here. Um, something that someone is not understanding or not at peace with. Um, their feelings are, are they, they feel like you're very solid and dependable. Um, 
This could be a third deacon Aquarius that you're seeing. Oh no. Or or first deacon Aquarius. Okay, no, they're feeling burdened. They're feeling burdened. Why? Maybe because they can't provide you with enough money. This came out, I think this is a male Aquarius energy for female Aries. Yeah, because they love you. Um, this is definitely, um, what is going on with the lighting? Sorry, this happens every now and then. <laughs> um, this means this is, um, th there's something to this, okay. Um, so there's love here. This is, a, this is a really good union. But there's something over here, the Aquarius energy. So um, the, there's the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. The, these are the two, de well, two of the three deacons of Aquarius. They're burdened. And it has something to do with, a, yeah, I really honestly feel it's, um, what they're feeling burdened about is that they cannot, um, make you feel like you're in a queen of materials um, situation. I'm just going to get a clarification on Aquarius's feelings. In other words, they feel like they can't give you enough uh, financially. They don't feel, they feel like they should be giving you, um, uh, they feel like they need to be in better shape financially to have this union. I believe this union is in its early stages because it's a two of cups situation. Um, I won't get into, go into a long explanation as to why, but I believe it is. Um, how else is um, Aquarius feeling for Aries here, please? Queen of Pentacles again. Okay. I got. I, I think I'm asking the wrong question. Why are they feeling burdened? Why are they feeling burdened? Why is the Ten of Wands up there, please? I still think it has to do with money. Why is the um, Why is the Ten of Wands up there? <gasps> they may have stolen money from you. Aquarius may have stolen money from you. I'm not sure though. No, it would have come out in the two in the what's going on. Why are they feeling burdened? Why is Aquarius feeling burdened? <laughs> this is amazing because of you, because of Aries, because of the Emperor. Um, okay, I think I'm reading for a female um, Aquarius and a male Emperor. So this is for male Aries. So probably nobody's watching this, that this uh, to, to whom this relates. Um, if you're interested, I think what's going on here is um, the female Aquarius is asking the, the, the male Aries um, constantly asking for more money, okay? Um, and that's why she's coming up as the greedy kept wife, <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. So there's an emperor here. There's male Aries and female Aquarius here, okay? Um, so the Aquarius um, is feeling burdened because she doesn't have enough money. Yeah, because the emperor isn't giving her enough money, I think, and it's in its early stages. So hopefully, the emperor will dump this um, this unusual Aquarius because this is not like Aquarius at all. Um, I'm not seeing a third party situation. I did consider whether or not that's a female Capricorn. I'm not seeing it. One more card. Two of cups. Yeah. So it could all. It could just be. This is, I mean, the Two of Cups is out twice, and the Queen of Pentacles is out twice. Um, so what's happening here is this is a relationship in its early stages between Aquarius and an Aries, okay? Um, there is some kind of a burden, and it's over whether or not um, the woman is going to be able to be married and be supported, all right? made it on your own okay um whoa there's some strong feelings Pisces is feeling the tower it's your card they're feeling your power just look at the power of the woman in this card so Pisces is feeling your your power geez Aries you've had quite an impact um 
what else is Pisces feeling? Um, oh, they're very confused. They don't know what to do. There's uh, Venus and Scorpio energy there. Why are they feeling the seven of emotions? Why are they feeling the seven of emotions? Because they ate the materials. They want to put the work in. So they're feeling, they want to impress you. They don't know how to do it. <laughs> Good luck, Pisces. No, sorry. Okay. Um, oh, so Pisces looks at you like a movie star, Aries. You are the star. Okay. What is going on in this situation? What, I feel, what stage are we at? What's going on here between Pisces and Aries? Um, Queen of Cups, Queen of Emotions. So there's a huge amount of love. It's coming from the water sign. It's coming from Pisces. You, um, wow. What is going on, though, in this situation? Where are we? Where are we? At the very beginning, page of inspiration. So for Aries and, and Pisces, um, they really think highly of you, okay? You've shaken their foundation, all right? All right, so now we're going to look at how Aries feels about Aries. Um, this, is, uh, this is interesting. Um, I would imagine um, I, second deacon Aries would get along with, with either a first or a third deacon Aries. Uh, or even a, another second deacon Aries. A first deacon Aries and a first deacon Aries could be explosive. Because both of them have a cause and they're both worthy. That's the problem. Um, both are right, so they'll fight to the death. Um, but anyway, well, no, I, you know, I'm being overly dramatic. But anyway, how does Aries feel about Aries here, please? How does Aries feel about Aries? How does Aries feel about Aries, please? See the sun. How does Aries feel about Aries? All right. And we'll just get this looking really good. Um, what's going on? Although one of them is a bit angry. Um, they're just coming in fast. What is going on between uh, Cardinal Fire and Cardinal Fire? What's going on? Oh, yeah, so this relationship is in tatters. What's going on between Cardinal Fire and Cardinal Fire? Um, so, the, so one of you is trying to offer a new cycle. Um, oh, okay. So, um, Aries, uh, this could be a top, um, one of these, what do they call them? Codependent relationships. The devil is there. So while you got, okay, you may be married. So this, I may be reading for a Mar an Aries who is married to another Aries or has some kind of a commitment. There may be a child involved. All right. Um, so one of you is feeling very angry and like you want to rush into the other. Why is this, please? Why? Um, because you're guarded and paranoid. <laughs> and you want to go to war. Um, because they are guarded and paranoid. They want to go to war. So what's happened in the situation is um, for some, somehow you guys are in five of, pen materials, five of pentacles mode. Um, the relationship is not in good shape. One of you may not be well. One of you may be ill. Um, one of you may, uh, there was some kind of too much of something. Okay, too much drinking, too much, you know, hurting, too much of something um, is what dragged this down. But um, somebody it is willing to, um, to make an offer of a new cycle. Um, yeah, because you guys could be soulmates. You know, so, um, you know, bottom of the deck, uh, three of wands, that's Sun and Aries wanting to build a relationship up again. 